And now another symbol of the past. Since the times of the boy powder monkeys who served the guns in Nelson's time, there has always been a crop of enthusiastic youngsters determined to go to sea, either with the Royal or the Merchant Navy. To visit a typical group of future sailors, we visit the training ship Mercury, moored in the River Hample. Here, we see the ship rather as a floating dormitory, where dreams are shattered in proper nautical style. The school was founded in 1885 to provide for boys of good character and inexpensive education based on the best traditions of the English boarding schools and of the service. In addition to providing training in practical seamanship and specialized nautical training, the Mercury also provides a formal education up to GCE standard. This class in practical seamanship is conducted by Mr. Pittock, ex-Royal Navy. The Mercury, a composite sloop, is now on permanent loan to the school for the Admiralty. It was actually delivered just before the First World War as a result of the lively personal interest and intervention of the then First Lord of the Admiralty. We suspect that the intervention really was lively, the First Lord at that time being Sir Winston Churchill. The Mercury is now dismasted and has an overall superstructure fitted so that she has accommodation on three decks. who enter at the age of 13 to 14 and a quarter, leave for their chosen career after three or four years. They don't have to join the Navy, but the training and discipline would seem wasted elsewhere. The ship possesses a variety of small craft, including the King's Barge, presented by King Edward VIII. Here, the captain superintendent of the school, Commander M.S. Bradby, M.B.E., R.N., is ceremoniously piped aboard. A wooden ship must obviously be prepared for any hazard, particularly fire. The extinguishers are properly fallen in and inspected. Of equal importance to cadets destined for the Royal Navy is gun drill. In the not-too-distant future, it may well be rocket drill, but you can be sure that the cadets of tomorrow will be able to cope with them too. Needless to say, the lads enjoy their duties, especially lighter ones like these. has a tradition as fine as the ship itself, called HMS Gannett when it was launched in 1878 and later renamed HMS President, its shape may have changed somewhat, but it's still basically seaworthy. And today, the original masts still stand proudly in the shore establishment ground. Whatever role our Navy plays in the world of tomorrow, we can rest assured that with youngsters like these, our proud island heritage will always be upheld.